quickly. Okay, so let's take a look at this idea of where do we get these values for 95, 90%, 99% confidence interval. Well, first thing I got to do is I got to pull up my Z table. Okay, let me pull one up. There we go. Okay, so we know when we look at the Z table, if I'm looking for the range that gives me 95% of the possible outcomes for a normal distribution, I'm going to be looking for about two standard deviations below the mean and two above the mean. Well, we figured out that really two standard deviations is only an estimate. Two standard deviations below the mean, for instance, gives us an area on that bottom curve instead of two and a half percent here and two and a half percent at the upper end, it gives us about two and a quarter percent. So it's not very precise. But if we look at 1.96, the area is 1.9. Six, the area is exactly a quarter of a percent, uh, point, uh, two and a half percent. So that 1.96 is a better estimate for that 95% interval, 95% of the values than the value two would be. So that's why we use 1.96. When we're looking at a 99% confidence interval, we want the uh, area of the distribution, which covers 99%, leaving a tail of half a percent at the bottom, half a percent at the top. So if I go back in here and look for what number would represent half a percent, well, this is 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, looks like it's around here somewhere, right? So I'm going to choose this one, right? It's in between these two values. I'll just choose that one. That value is 2.58. So we're going to use the value 2.58 for 99%, capturing 99% of the values. Well, how about 90% confidence interval? That leaves 10% in the bottom, uh, not 5% in the bottom tail, 5% in the upper tail. So let's see what we represent 5%. So that's going to be around here. Well, the closest value I can come to is about here, 1.64 would be about half a percent, 5% on the bottom tail, 5% on the upper tail. So we use the one, number 1.64 for a 90% confidence interval or for the range within we would expect 90% of the sample values to fall. Okay, so if they're normally distributed, as, we, as the central limit theorem uh, kind of suggests that they will be. Okay, so you guys can look through that later on.